everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you along on a home improvement project. I'm doing soundproofing and I'm doing an accent wall. This is the one bedroom wall here. I have I just got done painting all the other three walls white. I live in a townhouse, so this wall here is to my neighbor's house. And there's a fire uh, firewall, it's like a cinder block, but the, this is only a half inch uh, drywall. So there's really not a lot. Now they're not really loud, but I'm just thinking down the road, if there's a baby, if they move out and somebody moves in and starts playing trombone at nine o'clock at night, and why I still can, I think this might be a good time to do it. I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you some of the stuff that I got. All right, so what we're doing is, this is called mass loaded vinyl. I did some research and it was either this or the green glue, but the green glue, from what I'm told, you should do that sandwich between two pieces of uh, drywall. But since I'm doing a uh, accent wall with um, weather boards, I'm opted to go with this. This roll here is 25 feet long by four feet this way. This thing weighs a hundred pounds. This thing, I can't explain how dense this is. So I heard lots of good reviews that this really cuts down on the sound waves. So what I did was here on this wall here, you can see I marked where all my studs are and I'm gonna put it up in four pieces. And I have some liquid nail, Do -do -do -do, liquid nail. And I got inch and a quarter screws and some washers. So I'm gonna liquid nail it and screw it down to my studs. And then this here, I got this from Home Depot. It's the, the Weber board. This is the Nantucket Gray. So, I'll show you. So it's kind of. Step back. So I'm going to be staggering them all the way up. So originally I had light gray on my wall, so I went to white, so this wall would really pop. My original plan was to do one, one big 11 foot piece here and then here. This stuff is crazy heavy. So I ended up cutting it in sections like this. It made it much more manageable for one person to do it. And then I screwed it all in and I got the liquid nails on there. The battery just went on the cordless. So uh, I think we're calling that a day. Well, here we are at the end of the first week. I got all the vinyl up. You can see right here, this is some of the glue that oozed out in between. Uh, the next step will be to get this painted. I'm going to do that next Saturday. I'm taking a break today. It's Sunday. And then after that, we're going to start putting the barn, wood, uh, barn board up. So should look good. Show you then. Well, here we are. All this is hung, and I started painting today. I got this white because once I start putting the boards up, there's black behind it. It would definitely show between that white wood and the blue, bluish colors. It would definitely peek through. But if it's white, it'll look good. So tomorrow we start hanging boards. So can't wait till tomorrow. See you then. Well, here we go. The first board. I got the compressor outside. I ran the hose all the way down. Let's put the baseboard down. So you're going to see the first board going up. we are about the third row up this is the only part so what i did was i measured this so that ended here and then this piece i just had to notch out and then i got these longer uh electrical box screws that way this can just set out a little bit there we go I'm on the third row moving right along moving right along Let's see how far we got i need to get a new cover it's dirty i hate getting rid of it. it's one of the metal ones but uh yeah it's a that's a peak it's looking pretty good we're getting there
and it started snowing. Well, here we are. It came out real good. I'm very happy with the results. Only thing I noticed as I was doing it is I had a certain plan on how I was going to put the boards. And when they go on there, some are bowed just a little and this and that. So it just became how they fit. And it came out real good. Let me spin this around. So, yeah, there it is. Very, very happy with it. I'm going to shampoo my rugs real quick before I put the bed back down. There's just a little gap across the top, and that's perfect. That's I'm going to put, uh, put some crown up there. So, yep, very, very, very happy. So... Hope you enjoyed the video. Consider liking and subscribing. Check out the links in the description. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. There it is. We also got the gray curtains up. Got the little cat figures. Got a gray comforter in the uh, wash right now, but yep, there it is.